Hello everybody and welcome. I am Socio Psycho and I will be going over King's Bounty Warriors of the North Master Player Raise Your Character to a Maximum Level Level 70. Now this achievement far be it not many people have gotten it is really not all that difficult to get. You just have to have a certain way of doing it. Now the first step in what you need to do is upon the first island very simple on the lighthouse you talk to the light keeper and you get the bird the raven rend this bird will allow you to continuously get a supply of any wanderer scrolls that you come across such as ancient knowledge now this does the bird does have a cooldown of course of 10 rounds and the duration is 5 rounds the bird being right here as you can talk to him and see, I want you to write me a scroll. Ancient knowledge, among other shit that you find eventually. So, what's important in this, what's very important, your first step, is after you have passed the first island, is to either scout as you can, or get your wings for request, and then scout. Scout every cave, every high point, whatever you can, to try to find the School of Wandering. I got lucky and found it on the first island. You may too. It's just the RNG of it. Now, after you have that and you give it to the bird, and now he'll be able to create it for you willingly, you have to keep in mind that each cost of that scroll that you have a make costs five crystals. So it's important to make sure that you have enough crystals at any given time. <clears throat> Therefore, you're not losing battles, which progress the uh, time that he pops out another scroll. After which, so say you have uh, next third step will be to check at any vendor, whether you're in the Northland the middle, the main island, and eventually the later chapters, is to go to every vendor and see if they offer any experience gain items, as well as scouting around to find any treasure chests that you may for the treasure hunter, which gives you 7% more experience. The sooner you have it, in my opinion, the better, but it's not going to make or break the game, really. Obviously, getting it as soon as you can is important, but you could get it by the second chapter, and it's not going to hurt you all that much. So don't stress out about it. If it ha ha let it happen when it happens. The gear is important. Now, I have a set bonus here, and uh, the belt increases, obviously the tooth and the book. And I'm sitting gear-wise at 40% increase. In between the book, the learning skill, and the soothsayer tree for 20% extra, and the treasure hunter, I'm sitting at 67% uh, extra experience per battle. Now that's very important and that is nice. Obviously, I didn't get all of this early on. It would have been nice, but that's RNG. Now, you get it when you get it, and you make of it what you can. One thing to keep in mind now, talking about the experience, is when you do have a scroll of wandering. I'm sorry, what scroll of wandering? Well, wandering magic scroll of ancient knowledge. Blah. Experiences in battle plus fifty percent duration five battles. The you won't get another scroll for ten bat ten battles. So what you need to do is when you cast this ability. Go to whatever islands you have available and fight the deadliest opponents you can first. Fight the deadlies and in, uh, invincibles that are around first. Then use the weakest, you know, the very weak, the weak, whatever, normals, as filler groups till your next scroll. And just follow that pattern and it'll be really great. Now, following in suit, Another thing you need to be careful of is Rend is a hungry, hungry bird. Earlier on in the game, 
he seemed to be all right with just a few seeds now and again, but closer towards the end, you really had to just shove food down his throat. It seemed like every two bells, he was like, feed me, feed me. So you really have to keep up on making sure that you feed the bird. Otherwise, he won't produce a scroll for you. He won't work on an empty stomach. So that's something you need to keep in mind and continuously check. Within, you know, obviously you don't need to flip out about it, but like every battle, but it's something you should keep in mind. Now, after all of that is done, another thing you need to worry about is the experience level. I play on Impossible, so I don't know how the experience scales on lower settings. So what's important for you to do is you've already played through. If on you've been on easy or normal and hard, and you've gotten to around 64 to 66, then this strategy will work for you. If not, you will need to increase your uh, difficulty level only under the basis that on higher difficulties you end up facing more troops, enemy troops. Now it might scale um, because it's on easier, so you might gain more XP. I'm not sure. It might scale, you know, turn out to be the same in some regard. But that's just my experience. So if that becomes an issue for you, that's simply how you fix it. If you do not meet the 64 to 66 goal for your one of your playthroughs, and you're thinking about doing this beef it up a, a difficulty level. Make sure you get your XP gear before you go on a rampage killing all the creatures. Make sure you feed your bird. Make sure you find that wanderer scroll, Ancient Knowledge. You take out the strongest troops you can find first and then use the weaker troops as a filler and you keep, uh, keep crystals on hand. One other thing, one last little thing is if you do every fight in the game, every quest in the game, and you're up to the last boss in the game, and you're like, I am only 69 or 68, what am I going to do? Well, there is the innkeeper, and there's also a guy in the dwarven, New Kadar, Kadar, whatever it is, where you can purchase a fight for 1 million uh, coins, to be able to fight an enemy army and gain experience. So if you have enough money, you can do this. And if the scaling does work out just fine on lower settings when you get more money, you'll definitely have no issue. Uh, if I have almost 11 million on Impossible, you should have plenty of money to be able to get the things that you require. No issue. So that is pretty much it. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helps.